Financial Peace Plaza, it's the Dave Ramsey Show, where debt is dumb, cash is king, and the paid-off home mortgage has taken the place of the BMW as the status symbol of choice. I am Dave Ramsey, your host, and this is your show, America. Thank you for joining us. It's a free call at 888-825-5225 or online at DaveRamsey.com. Click Dave's email. Please keep those brief and to the point, and we will do our best to answer them as a part of the show today. Starting off this hour is Louisville, Kentucky. John is with us. Hi, John. How are you? Hey, Dave. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Uh, the basis of my question, you know, my wife and I have lived by your principles. We're out of debt, everything except the house. Um, but how do we change what we do with our money when we have a child that has major medical issues that, that are not going to go away for life? So my question is, do we, since we have the money now, do we go ahead and pay off our house now, or do we just try to save up cash for the future? Because right now we have good jobs, we have health insurance, but we're trying to be smart and plan you know, not just six months down the line, but when he's 20 and 30 years old, to hopefully have enough money for him to work on. Sure. Sure. Okay. And, and what, is, what is the nature of his medical problem? He has a, a, a very severe heart condition. So he's been through seven or eight surgeries, and he's not even two. He will have to have heart transplants eventually, just depending, depending on when that's going to be. Mm. Make you hold your breath all the time, won't it? Yes, it does. Yes, sir. Um, blood. He's still with us. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, okay, uh, well, you kind of have to separate parts of this in, into two categories, okay? One is we need to build some wealth for the good of this young man, mm -hmm. okay? And that's for a heart transplant, hopefully later rather than sooner. Yeah. Um, and, um... And that's for other medical issues, hopefully later rather than sooner. Mm -hmm. And so that, what is the best way to build wealth for that? Well, to become debt-free is, mm -hmm. is the fastest and easiest and most proven way to build wealth. And that's why we teach people to get out of debt, because you, as you know, you've experienced it already by being debt-free, but the house, you suddenly have money. Because yeah. it's not all going to the freaking bank. And so your most powerful wealth-building tool is your income. The borrower is slave to the lender. All that stuff you've heard me say, right? And, yeah. and, and so, you know, what is the best way to build wealth long-term is to be debt-free. Yes. And so paying off the house would make sense in that light. Then we juxtapose that with if your child needs something tomorrow and you're cash poor because you paid off the house, then that would be unwise. That would not be investments. That would be an emergency. And so, how much is the balance on your home? 312. And you have 312 saved? Yes, sir. How much do you have saved total? 490. Wow. Yeah, Pretty like incredible. I said, we've moved under your principles, and ever since we knew this was going to come to us two and a half years ago, you know, we've no vacations, we don't go out to eat that much, you know, mm -hmm. and we're tried to... And so, and, and so, I'm guessing you're dealing with a pretty substantial income. What's your household income? 200. Yeah, okay. Well, let's play pretend for a minute, okay? If you paid off the house, that would leave you just shy of $200,000, about 180, right? Mm hmm Okay. You make 200, and you don't have a house payment anymore, and you're already monster savers. I mean, what is the likelihood between now and the time you save another 100 or 200,000, which wouldn't take that long, what is the likelihood you have an emergency for him in excess of 180? I mean, if our insurance out of pocket, goes away, out of pocket. If, uh, I mean, if our insurance were to go away, which right now we've got good insurance, uh, what would make it likely, go away? Uh, he will need another heart surgery in a year. And what will make the insurance go away? Well, if we were to lose our job, but okay. like as you always say, Murphy's always around the corner, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to and so if you lost your job this year and he needed the heart surgery next year and you didn't have insurance, you wouldn't have enough? Probably not. That's, where that, that's your concern then? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. And that's a possibility mm -hmm. in this volatile situation. So um, what I would suggest you do is continue to pile savings until you reach the point that when you pay off the house, 
you don't leave him in jeopardy in the event you lost your job. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And that sounds to me like, I, I don't know what the number is. What does, what's the number on the heart surgery if you didn't have insurance? Have any idea? I mean, our first bill was almost 900000 That was before the insurance deductions because they were a carrier type thing. And that, that didn't include, that was just hospital. Mm -hmm. But I mean, so that's the kind of bill we're talking about. Yes, sir. I mean, major. Okay, so you haven't got enough anyway. Not to cover that, no. Yeah, that's what I mean. Right. Okay. Well, you've just got to kind of balance it between the near-term need for cash and the best way to build long-term cash. That's the, that's the pool you've got. Does that make sense? And the best way to build long-term cash is to get rid of the house payment. Right. Because, and that relaxes the family in other ways in a pretty stressful situation here. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to move towards paying off that house at some number, and I don't think that number's a million if I'm you. Now, I guess it kind of enters in, if you want to try to do math on it, the probability of you losing your job in the next two month, two years. What would you say that is? Uh, low, 30%. high, medium? 30, 30%. Yeah, low, but yeah. low to medium, okay. Um, so, you know, based on that, it, it, yeah, I, I, when you talk about your child, it changes. Yeah, everything. it just changes everything, and we're talking about saving his life. I mean, there's so there's no there's no price tag on it, and yet you don't have the cash to do the price tag if you lost the job today, whether the house is paid off or not. Mm -hmm. If you lost the insurance today, of course you keep it under Cobra, but right. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well I'm going to build up some more cash. Maybe more than you got now, and then I'm going to pay off the house. Maybe another 200 would get me comfortable if you had 400k, you know. Because I don't think you're going to get uh, the fastest way to get to a million, and you know, a bunch of cash laying around or a bunch of investments laying around that you could get to in mutual funds. In a worst case scenario, is to get rid of the house payment. So, again, back and forth. The bound, the, the the pull on this deal is between those, the short term need for emergency cash versus the best way to long term create wealth. And so I. You know, the more comfortable you are with your job being stable, the faster I'm going to pay the house off. That's the okay. ratio. Does that? You see how I'm getting there? Yes, sir. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry you guys are facing this, but it sounds like you're up to the challenge. And, we are. Um, we definitely are. So it's, it's a good thing he's got you as a daddy. Man, that's incredible. So, um, good stuff. Some days, the Dave Ramsey Show is here just to remind you, in case you thought you had a problem today. Just in case you thought you had a problem. This is the Dave Ramsey Show.